Okay, here's a little backstory to this video. I, I really didn't want this to be a whole production, but it has turned out to be a production. All I wanted to do was wash my old pair of wild horse, and I wasn't even gonna make a video. At least, I wasn't really thinking about making a video about cleaning my shoes. But you know, when we make running YouTube videos, you, you may as well make a video if you're doing something about running, or at least running adjacent. And cleaning running shoes is something that most of us are gonna do at one time or another. Now, I want you to just get a good close look at these shoes. Now, these are pretty, pretty filthy. They're pretty disgusting. They're very old, but look at the bottoms. They're quite clean. Now, when I go out and I do a trail race or I'm going out on the trails and it's quite muddy, usually I will just take a hose to them. I'll hose off all the mud from the bottom, stuff them with newspaper to dry them out, and then call it a day. But as you can see, these look like, they look very old and very nasty, but we're gonna fix that. So I said this was a production and, and I meant it. So I had set up my whole cameras. I was going to do this originally in the kitchen sink. I set up my cameras around it. I actually scrubbed the bottom of the sink so it looked clean for you guys because you know I'm considerate and I think things through but apparently I don't think things through because when my wife walked into the kitchen and saw that I was getting ready to clean a pair of running shoes in the kitchen sink let's just say that she nixed it. She then went so far as to send me an article from USA Today which of course I will link in the show notes below and that well, I'm gonna tell you what the article said, but that's the reason I'm wearing gloves. The article is titled, Leave Your Shoes at the Door. Science says they're covered in poop and could make you sick. So basically there was an experiment where they tested people's shoes after running in them. And the study found the outside of shoes averaged 421,000 units of bacteria compared with 2,887 on the inside. And fecal bacteria appeared on 96% of the shoes. And if you haven't put two and two together, Fecal bacteria on the outside of your shoes means you have come in contact with fecal matter. Not pleasant. I can see why the kitchen sink wasn't the best place to clean a pair of running shoes. So the first thing I want you to take from this video is not to wash your running shoes in the kitchen sink. And because of the whole fecal bacteria, I did throw on some disposable rubber gloves. Hold on, one, one more thing. If you think maybe 96% fecal bacteria, you know, not really a big deal, it's on the shoes. I mean, who cares? The transfer rate from bacteria to clean tile. So if you just walk in your house and you've got tile in the entrance area it was 90 to 99%. That's on a clean tile with no, nothing like grabbing at the bottom of the shoe. Imagine if you had carpet in your house. Now look, you are gonna see a lot of other shoe cleaning videos on the internet where people are soaking the entire shoe. That's not necessary. Don't, don't waste your time soaking the entire shoe. You're also gonna hear things like one part vinegar to two parts water or a baking soda paste. That seems like a bit of a production to wash the old running shoes. What you do need is a very mild soap. So dish soap or laundry detergent is gonna be the best. Pair that with some warm water and you are good to go. Okay, now we're outside in a safe space. We have all our PPE on because of our poop covered shoes. We're ready to get cleaning. First thing we're gonna do is remove the laces. Now your laces, they can be scrubbed. You can use your brush to clean them or you can throw them in a delicates bag and just throw them in the wash. And I can't believe I didn't lead with this, but you should not be washing your running shoes in the washing machine because the heat can melt the glue and it really breaks them down. Now these shoes are pretty tough. They can't stand up to being washed. That's why we do it by hand. First of all, we are gonna just bang our shoes together so we can get all the loose dirt off. There we go. Now we know all the loose dirt's off. All we have to do is scrub all the baked in dirt. Now guys, this video is not gonna be me cleaning these shoes in real time. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Then we're gonna fast forward and I'll show you the end result. I have a brush, kind of like a vegetable brush, and then I have an old toothbrush. Remember, remember the fecal matter that we talked about earlier. Do not be using this toothbrush after you've cleaned your shoes. The same thing with the vegetable brush. And because our shoes are dry, what we are gonna do is we're gonna dip the brush in the warm, soapy water, and then we are gonna do small areas at a time. It really is this simple. And guys, the reason you wanna use a brush rather than a sponge is because sponges are for hard surfaces. You are just going to be wiping off what's on the surface of your shoes if you use a sponge. You need the little bristles, the bristles to actually get into the fibers to get that baked in dirt out. And it really doesn't take long. I think you're gonna be surprised when you go to clean your shoes, how quickly they get spotless. It really is worth just a few minutes of scrubbing to get your shoes looking maybe not like new, 
but better than they were. I realize I just made a very rookie mistake. When you take out the laces, you also need to take out the insoles. The insoles, we're gonna clean those separately. Let's put those aside for now. We continue the scrubbing. Scrub, 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 scrub. I want you to know I am not babying these shoes. I'm not taking my time to clean them. Remember, they're running shoes. These are trail running shoes. They're meant to be dirty. We want them to look their best, right? So you don't have to spend all day doing it. This should be a 10 minute task at the very most. I've probably spent about three minutes on that shoe. Onto the second one. After we've got both shoes nice and clean, we're gonna move on and we're gonna clean the insoles. And these are gonna take like 30 seconds. Just give them a quick scrub down. Remember, there was something like 2,800 bacteria on these insoles on the inside of our shoes, so it's worth giving them a scrub. Now, after you're done cleaning, remember we've got the soapy water. We're using the mild detergent soap. We're just gonna rinse the brush and then you don't have to hose them down. You don't have to get them soaked. We didn't get them soaked to clean them. Remember, you are not eating off these shoes. You just have to take the soap off. Doesn't have to come off completely. We are just using clean water and we're gonna remove the excess dirt and soap that's left on the shoes. So I have another little container of clean water right here. And then we are just gonna go over the shoes one more time with nice clean water. Now remember your shoes are already clean. So all you're doing is just kind of getting that excess soap and grime off with the clean water. That literally took me less than a minute to do the first shoe. And we're on to the second. Using clean water just to finish the job. We're gonna do the same thing with the insoles. We're just gonna scrub them with a the clean water just to get that soap and extra grime off. And the last thing we're gonna do to finish off this process is to dry them. And how do we dry them? We stuff them with newspaper. And just in the name of environmental conservatism, I do read the newspaper, then put it aside to use it as shoe stuffing. Then when it's done stuffing my shoes, the newspaper dries out and I put it in the recycle bin, be recycled and reused for the next pair of shoes. That is how you clean your running shoes. And I gotta say, these aren't even dry and they are looking pretty spectacular. So it's probably gonna take at least a day, maybe two days to dry, depending on where you live, depending on the climate, depending on how dry it is outside. I can't take my eyes off these things. They are looking stunning. They're looking brand new. All right, let's get rid of this dirty water. We'll water the flowers. And guys, that is how you clean a pair of running shoes. If you clean your running shoes in a different way, why don't you let me know in the comments below. And if you've got any value, if you enjoyed seeing me cleaning my running shoes and perhaps it sparked something in you to clean your own running shoes, give this video a thumbs up. Oh, and if you are not subscribed already, consider doing so right now. I post at least two new running videos a week on YouTube. Be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you in a couple of days.